Thank you, Nate. Um, I was excited to be involved in this project because of the rides. You can tell everybody wants to go on a ride. Um, but then when I got in the car with Janine, she said, well, maybe I'll pull somebody over. And I went, no! <laughs> I feel guilty the rest of my life. Um, but uh, we did have a chance to drive around. And uh, the way we drive, civilians, and the way officers drive, I realize is a totally different experience. Um, so she took us around an, a neighborhood that I didn't know at all, and she knew every alley, every turn, and this is where the poem came from. Neighborhoods are like memories you don't want that lead to willow and elm, to streets you've memorized, streets that turn into the unimaginable, into the dead ends that do not end, streets that spill out into footpaths that don't diverge but drop into ravines and woods like bad dreams where you can't awake, past a boulder where revenge is lurking, his pistol loaded, bang, you're dead. A seven-year-old darts out right at you, glancing over his shoulder and nearly slams into you. He's playing cops and robbers and asks, hey, officer, you want to play? You smile because he knows you know when his mother gets home from work and you breathe. Just breathe. This is why most people drive main streets, never turn into the unknown. They want to get to the home they know, no matter the gridlock, no matter the weight. But you drive down one, up another, never the same pattern, wary in a car with the insignia emblazoned on it, a car that says, I am waking you up from a dream that is not a dream. I am here, you can come out now, it's safe.